What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickor Scuba and Marina and got a very, very busy day ahead of me. I'm leaving here in several hours to head down to Florida for several days, taking a couple students down to cave country. But I'm actually headed right now to go do a recovery. Um, got a gentleman who lost her cell phone again and so we're gonna go try to find this guy's cell phone for him. It's all the way at the other end of the lake, so I'm actually going by land versus going by water. It's a little bit cheaper in gas on my truck than it is on one of our boats. But uh, I'm gonna run up here, jump in real quick, uh, see if I can help this guy out by finding a cell phone. And then I've got a ton of stuff to get done today. Uh, Cause like I said, I'm leaving in several hours to head down to Florida. So come along with us on this dive and we'll see just how good we do. Let me go more that way. Thank <laughs> you. 
happy to show you the video, but I can guarantee you 100% that phone is nowhere within 10, 9 to 10 feet radius of that rope. I'm dumbfounded. Either one, the current was just absolutely so strong, or two, I've seen weirder things. There's a muskrat, and I'll show you on the video, there's a muskrat nest about that big. And if it would have landed on his nest and pissed him off, he'd have moved it. So it is, leave that rope there. It is not right there, I promise you. But if that's where he said he dropped it, then that's where he said he dropped it. I'm not going to open it, but it is flooded, but your phone's working. You need to take this thing out of the case immediately and throw it in a bag of rice for 24 hours and not touch it. Okay? But somebody's trying to ping it now, so. But you see how far? Right, I told you I'd come up right where I found it.
all right guys so i just got out of the water did have a very successful search took me a lot longer than i thought it would what i assumed would be about a 10 minute search took me an hour and 21 minutes uh, now thankfully i've edited the video down for you but i wanted to show you exactly what it was like under there i ended up finding this kid's phone over 50 feet away from where he initially dropped it at um, and i've said in other videos if you've watched my search and recovery videos that anytime an, an object descends down in the water column whatever the depth is where that object falls your search radius is going to be equal to that depth so i was searching in roughly nine ten foot of water so my search radius was nine to ten feet away well unfortunately i found this kid's phone pretty much at the end of my tank i'd breathe a whole tank down um looking for this kid's phone I found it 50 feet away from where he dropped it at in a depth of 26 feet. Now there's several reasons that made that possible as far as the phone traveling that far. One of course is current. We did just get a big heavy rain. Uh, so Duke Pyre has been flowing quite a bit of water out and when he dropped the phone and he dropped it roughly seven, eight hours ago from what he told me, um, the water was flowing pretty good. So it could have caught that phone and drug it a lot more because of the current being a lot stronger. Um, and then of course, a possibility, but an unlikelihood event uh, I have seen weirder things. Our lake is absolutely infested with muskrats. And right at the center of that search area was a muskrat mound up underneath the water. So it is possible that phone landed on that muskrat mound and, and ticked off a muskrat and he picked that thing up and drug it off. Um, but regardless, we did find his phone or I found his phone for him. So uh, he's happy, um, I'm happy. But I really appreciate you coming on this dive. If you like these type of videos, smash that like button for me. Even if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. I could care less. Just hit like or dislike. That just lets me know that you do want to see more videos. Um, even if you hit the dislike, you're watching my videos, so I know you want to see them. But uh, hit the like button for me. Uh, let me know down in the comment sections if, if you do dives like this, you know, what your experience is like on them. But guys, I really appreciate you uh, coming along on these journeys with us and these search dives. If you got any questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. But as always, make sure you uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.